So I'm Michelle Gutierrez. I'm here at Sunset Boxing. Um, I've been in a video game. It's called Supremacy MMA. I started fighting professionally about three or four years ago. I started out as a boxer, amateur, and then I turned professional. And I was 2-0 in professional boxing. And then decided to transition to MMA. I'm going on my eighth pro fight. Um, I lost my first MMA fight. Um, my pro debut and then Ronnie actually gave me my chance to first ever fight in my hometown which is Vegas so I got to fight at the Hard Rock Hotel which was huge for me my whole family was there and I actually got a 17 second knockout and that kind of put me on the map bike fest fight card is coming together real nice unfortunately I don't have any fights for Farad or Aaron my two superstars for every minute that is wasting this money to be making life is what you're facing you just gotta take it gotta change the pace so everything's about the game so jace is ready to bang and fight fest at bike fest he called out jesse i'm still waiting for his camp to get back to me how do you feel about that i mean uh i'm hoping we can we can go ahead and get it set up so you know it's, it could be official you know i know no no if fans or buts jesse has zero fights and he came out looking great Oh. And Jason went, I want to fight that guy. I just, I just want to fight, you know. Just get my first one in, win, lose, or tie. I'd love to be able to set that fight up. So Jesse, holler at us, let us know when you take the fight against Jason. He's ready for you, he saw you fight, and now he wants to fight you. Perfect matchup. In my last fight, um, I was disappointed because even though I finished him in the second round, it was a little sloppy. I'm not taking anything from my opponent there, but I feel like I'm a... Uh, to the level where I want somebody who understands the fundamentals that I could really show my, my true uh, tactics on. That coach from your opponent said that it was a mismatch. And he said that anytime you guys want to get in and fight MMA, they'll be happy to do it. But they thought your fight was a mismatch. It was a mismatch just because he didn't come with the, with the proper skill set. I had one fight more than him, so I mean, we're both you know, up in the air. Nobody really knows what's up. I gotta work my way up, take my steps, man. It's not my fault. They need to train harder. What's in there? Eddie? Eddie, Eddie uh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero. Yep. I'm, you're a nice guy. I don't know if you said this. Your coach might just be hyping you up. But um, I got them gloves on, man. And they're four ounces. I do that with four ounce gloves on. <laughs> Hard work. I need fighters, guys, girls. I got some serious guys that want to compete. They want to fight anybody. I need a 135 pounder. I need a 185 pounder. Who's going to step up to fight these guys? Farad Muhammad, Aaron Fonseca, Keith and Turner. They're still not matched up. Last time I checked, we were in Las Vegas. Fighters. Hello. 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 Fighters. Hello. 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 So ever since, um, you know, Ronda Rousey and Misha Tate and Gina Carano, a lot of young girls have been getting started in MMA and it's growing. WMMA is huge right now. There's a lot of big strike force fights and I'm starting to teach a lot of little girls. My advice to them would be, you know, practice hard, learn the basics so you look well and you fight well and you know as much as you can. And um, I think we'll definitely be successful in WMMA. Fight Fest at Bike Fest, September 29th. 30,000 people watching you smash on somebody and you don't want to fight in it? Who are you? You're nobody then. Aaron basically called out the whole town. Where are you at? And I still don't have an opponent for him. I'm here now driving to go find him an opponent. I may have to go check out California. Fight Fest at Bike Fest, September 29th. You better be there. Wasting this money to be making Life is what you're facing You just gotta take it Gotta change the pace So everything's about the cave in Gotta raise the stakes Cause if I those ain't playing For every minute that is wasting This money to be making Life is what you're facing You just gotta take it Gotta change the pace So everything's about the cave in Gotta raise the stakes Cause if I those ain't playing First things first A minute to win it so I just got a new manager. Um, I'm going to have big news coming soon. I can't really talk about it yet, but it's huge for me and it's going to be life-changing. So um, that's, that's it.